Why is there a, a nine floating in the air up there? Is it that? Pinch of pepper nut? Let's just pop you on a five. If these ever grow again, then we'll automatically harvest them. Right, good. So this is what we were hoping for. Is that it, Ruby? Is that all you're doing? We don't find any more rock. When they finish building this, then we'll be more focused on the other job. And I'll hold off digging this out until this is finished. Come on, guys. Build your bridge. Get over. Nice one, Ashcan. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Where's the edge of the map? The edge of the map's only there. That's the edge of the map. That's as far as we can go over. So I'm hoping that we find something soon. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? It'd be nice. It'd be nice of the game to be nice to us. And also, I don't know whether these geezers are biome dependent. So whether you only find natural gas ones in, let's say, this this ready area and and you get a different type in the blue cold area and a different types in the green one or I don't know I don't know whether there you could find anything you know if, whether whether it was a, a natural gas one or an oil one or steam I don't know whether they're specific to an area Let's just speed time up a little bit. While it's night time. While the guys are asleep. Research going then. So let's go for that. That's basic rocketry. We're almost fully researched. We've almost researched everything. So as you can see there, we've got the ability to build jetpacks, we just don't have the resources yet. You're making copper there. Copper is it? Copper. Iron ore to iron, we're making iron. 600 kilos, okay. Again, I'd like to be able to find a gold geezer. A liquid gold geezer will uh, do wonders for the base as well. Free metal. Rocketry at cycle 90. 
Were you aiming for it? Because I just went for general. It got to a point where I was just like, just research everything. Just research. got here a chlorine gas vent <laughs> yeah we're not going in there chlorine gas vent honestly not what I was looking for although what we have done now is we've got access to some sleet wheat which we can now harvest and harvest these fellas um, what priority have I got my food on nines on there so maybe an eight or a seven or something like that a six or something sleep wheat Okay, so we've found the edge of the map. We have found a, a chlorine gas vent, which isn't something that I really want to be mining out. Chlorine gas. At this point in the game, certainly. We want to stay well away from that. Um, some funny uh, temperature readings here, but it, there isn't a neutronium platform that I can see anywhere. So, you know, if there is a funny heat signature, look for that neutronium material. Because they're always sat on those. And there's nothing. There's nothing in there. Nothing at all. Okay, so that's all the way off to the left of the map. Um, certainly at that height of map. Right. We could maybe use the rest of the time to dig this out. That would be cool. And I think then what we'll do is we'll head right as well. We're going to get going further right down here. We'll get uh, we'll get our oxygen suits on. So one option might be to just go right from this sort of level, and we'll get all this copper then might be a thing I want to do. Um, we've got granite and sedimentary rock in there. There's no bleach stone, although it's full of chlorine. I, I was looking to see if there's bleach stone in there. There isn't, which is good. So I could dig through here. See, the, the problem again, the problem with building more Atmo suits and Atmo docks down here and then digging right um, is it just takes energy to fill them and more oxygen to fill them and my oxygen is doing all right we're, we're getting there it's getting lighter again um, but also I don't really want to get to the point where we've got no oxygen whatsoever because we've got too many suits here and too many suits down there so we're gonna uh, we're gonna let them Come and go from here quite happily. And I might just use this as the only exit from the base. That's that's probably a good plan. Now, do I want to do something with this hydrogen here? Because there is a lot of it. And I can use it. We could probably do something very quickly with a pump here. I did take a gas pump out here, didn't I?
So basically what I've done is I've wired it up just so that it'll pump everything into here. And it will pump in oxygen and all sorts, but it's not going to be there long. We're, we're going to take it apart pretty soon. It'll just be there to get rid of the excess that's built up. Maybe I should have just put it on a switch. And the fact that I'm not running it through filters means that I might get some damage to these later on down the line. But maybe I should have just put it on a switch and put some filters in, I don't know. Pumping all sorts into there. So let's have a look at this. So yeah, we're getting oxygen there, look. Oxygen. Yeah, there's absolutely no need to be doing that, is that? Let's um, let's pump it into this, into here somehow. How are we doing up here? Well, we've finished everything up here. We've finished everything we need to do. There's a little bit left to do on there. I could do with them finishing that before we get to the actual unveiling of whatever's under there. doing here is I'm going to change the way that these pipes work. So I am going to use this pump to get this gas down here. Gas bridge like that. Gas pipe. Flooded the base. Somebody in my chat has flooded the base. So Ruby is now fully qualified miner. Well done. Well, she's a, yeah, a miner. She's not apprentice, and she's fully qualified miner now. She's just not seasoned. Um, her morale's a little bit low for the job she's in at the moment, but could carry on trying to make the morale of the base a bit better you know a few of the rooms for example oh we've got these wash basins built now haven't we and set direction right here there we go people can come in have a shower go to the loo and we've got wash basins in there now 
So that will mean that we get a bonus for the room, which is morale plus two. Which is, is good. I like that. It helps. Every little helps. Every little helps. And we've completed more research. More research. Uh, basic rocketry next, and that's almost as far as we can go. We can actually research the first two bits of each of these modules. We just can't do the third one until we've been into space. So that will come. And this is part of what I was saying about I think that the um, research is too quick in this game. And it, it, it's almost like, yeah, we can build everything. Just build it. Just build anything you want. Research everything you want. And I'd, I'd like it more of a, oh, actually, we need to think about what we want to build next because we want, we've found this this oil, so maybe we work towards plastics and petroleum and, yeah. See, these are getting broken now because of the air that we pumped into there. The air is getting pumped through the pipes into these machines. exciting <laughs> I'll get an exciting so jobs at the moment we want to finish this room so we're going to finish these bits around here and then we're going to dig out some of this in fact let's just do some of that while we're here built this little platform we can actually walk across all the way over here so once we've dug all this out we'll slowly take this away and then we'll just be left with this block which we will hopefully excavate without scalding anybody because I don't know how hot this thing's gonna be um, it says it's emitting crude oil it doesn't tell me how hot it is um, crude oil blah 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 at 326 degrees centigrade all right so we need to be very careful about not scalding anybody. We don't want that to happen, do we? No, no we don't. No, thanks for that. Um, what I'm gonna do in here is build a little bit of furniture. We want a flower pot, maybe a flower pot. In there. I think it's flower pots. Oh, we're already all on it. Meep, already on it. Catalina, well done. Uh, now then, flower pot. What's he? There we go. Look, I planted a what seed, a wheeze wart. I planted a wheeze wart. <laughs> I'm happy with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I have just shouted it from the rooftops. There we go, we've got one. It's, it's there. Well, we haven't got it yet. Nobody's planted it yet. Now, what's happening with this? Cool slush geezer, idle, erupts in 80 seconds. So what's the pressure like in here? It's 9.8 grams. What about the water? 999.9 kilograms. The water in here. 
500 kilograms there. I think that this is going to work. I think that it's holding it back. So it is, the rising pressure's coming now, it's erupting in five seconds. Or, as, as the weeds were been planted. <laughs> I'll have a look in a second. Um, okay, so it looks as though it's emitting water, but the kilograms of water isn't going up. It can't go up from there because it's at maximum pressure. So I think that this, even though it's erupting, nothing's actually happening. I think that that is now in a, a static state and um, what we're going to get now is this water level dropping as we use water for um, research, 